another 2 million people are set to flee Ukraine within days, raising pressure on Britain to welcome more refugees. The unprecedented scale of the exodus leaves Europe facing the largest crisis of its kind since the end of the Second World War, Western officials said last night. The number of desperate refugees fleeing the Russian invasion is expected to double from 2.2 million to at least 4 million, as the spotlight falls on Home Secretary Preeti Patel to do more to help families who want to come to Britain. Many of those who have already left are suffering from frostbite after traveling through snow and ice to escape. Others have severe mental health problems related to their ordeal. The officials said the second wave of refugees would be older and more vulnerable than the first, meaning they will need more help from Western countries such as Britain. further pressure on Boris Johnson to do more to make it easier for Ukrainians to find sanctuary in the UK. Dot. The leveling up, Housing and Communities Secretary Michael Gove is preparing to announce details of a local sponsorship scheme dash but this has been delayed until next week. The program will enable Britons to house those fleeing the war in a spare room, or even give them a job. Refugee numbers are set to increase dramatically as the crisis in Ukraine deepens. The World Health Organization said it has 18 verified reports of Russian attacks on ambulances or health facilities across the country. Advertisement The bombing of a maternity hospital in Mariupol on Wednesday sparked international outrage. of trapped citizens in the southern city are without food, water or medical aid. Dozens of civilians have been killed in airstrikes and shelling in the eastern city of Kharkiv, while Kyiv's mayor said half its population had fled. Western officials yesterday described the refugee crisis as unprecedented. One said, I would like to stress the sheer scale of this, which is something that we haven't seen, certainly since the end of the Second World War, and that is a real challenge to us all. Following intense criticism, Ms. Patel announced yesterday that some Ukrainian passport holders will be able to apply for a visa entirely online without the need for face-to-face -face biometric checks. It came as Mr. Johnson said security checks on evacuees must continue in case applicants are still armed. But there has been no easing of rules which insist all applicants must have a relative with permanent rights to live in Britain. Thousands more with family members on work and other short-term UK visas remain excluded from the scheme, along with millions more with no links to the UK. Figures published on Wednesday showed Britain had granted just 957 visas so far. of British Red Cross, which has received £500,000 from the Mail Force Ukraine Refugee Appeal, said yesterday, 
The simplest way of fixing this quickly is to remove visa requirements for Ukrainians, at least temporarily, in line with the actions of countries across Europe. Education Secretary Nadim Zahawi suggested to Channel 4 News that more needed to be done to streamline the system. Advertisement